Dr. Sharon Vanderlip has provided veterinary care to domestic and exotic animals for more than 30 years. Along the way, she has written numerous scientific articles and more than 20 books on animals and pet care. Till no tonight, she will read from one of her newest books, Hedgehogs. Hedgehogs are mysterious creatures. It's not surprising that these remarkable nighttime animals, with their intriguing behaviors and their curious appearance, have captured people's attention and imagination throughout the centuries. Misunderst misunderstood and often maligned, they have inspired numerous legends and myths. Even Shakespeare referred to hedgehogs in his plays. He called them urchins or hedge pigeons. In, the, in Macbeth, just before the famous double-double toil and trouble line, one of the three witches says, thrice and once the hedge pig whined. Well, now scientists have reported in a study that during courtship, the male European hedgehog lets out three short, quick whistles and then a long, flat whistle. So did, he did Shakespeare hear these animals courting one night? And did they inspire him to include them in his plays? because he has included them in several. The ancient Egyptians revered hedgehogs. They made objects, flasks, and ceramic jewelry in the image of hedgehogs. And some say that the ancient Egyptians believed that hedgehogs were capable of reincarnation. Well, hedgehogs hibernate when conditions are cold. And hibernation, and then recovery from hibernation, inexplicable to the ancient Egyptians, uh, could have easily been misinterpreted as a recovery from death. Uh, it would have surely drawn awe and admiration from an ancient civilization that was so impressed and preoccupied with the concept of life after death. Pliny the Elder, in 60 AD, was a Roman naturalist who wrote 37 tomes about natural history. He mistakenly believed that hedgehogs could, skewer, could roll onto apples that had fallen to the ground, skewer the fruits on their quills, and transport these back on their backs. Other authors claim that hedgehogs could climb trees and shake apples out of the trees. In his Encyclopedia Entomologia, St. Isidore of Seville, in 600, wrote that hedgehogs used their quills to slice, to slice bunches of grapes off the vines and, of course, to skewer them. Well, in reality, hedgehogs do not skewer or transport fruits or anything else with their quills. However, dirt and debris and plant materials do adhere to their quills, especially after they have been sleeping rolled up in a ball in contact with the dirt. Hedgehogs are also portrayed unrealistically in most children's stories. Lena Anderson's book, Hedgehog Secret, <laughs> describes the hedgehog as a very busybody she washes and she sews in preparation for a new baby, baby hedgehog, that is. And in Beatrix Potter's The Tale of Miss Tiggywinkle, she represents the hedgehog as a curious washerwoman. In Lewis Carroll's Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, Alice plays croquet with a crazed queen using a live hedgehog as a croquet ball. In 1991, Sonic the Hedgehog, a teal blue animated superhero blasted into the world of video games with the ability to run faster than the speed of sound. Although Sonic the Hedgehog is arguably the most famous fictional hedgehog character that most modern, modern day children will know, the only thing Sonic has in common with real hedgehogs is the ability to swim and to curl into a ball. Archilochus the Greek soldier poet reportedly wrote, the fox knows many things, but the hedgehog knows one big thing. Over time, we have pried away some of the hedgehog's secrets. We have sifted fact from fiction, controversy from confusion, and we have learned many things about this cute and covert creature. With continued research, observation, and sharing of accurate information, Perhaps one day we will discover the one big thing the hedgehog knows. 